Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Ellie is gonna get a haircut this weekend. Piggy might sleep for the first time in the barn this weekend. Today is Thursday, that means tomorrow, actually the day that you guys are watching this, the day you guys are watching this is the day that one of our new pets comes home. I'm so excited. I'm probably more excited than you. I don't know. I'm so excited. I can't wait. In fact, I think May is the month that everybody's supposed to come home. If you are wondering what I'm talking about, then you might not know that we have one goat, baby goat coming home, a registered goat. We have one amazing horse coming home and we have one other pig coming home. Is that it? And then Sophie's little show goat is coming home in July. Come on. Let's put the horses out too. I also know how we're introducing my How horse. are we introducing your horse? I'll show you. Get to okay. Game. Oh, you found something online? TikTok. On TikTok? TikTok for the win. I think I saved it. I'm actually nervous about the introduction because... This is a very easy introduction. All right, let's do it. Sophie says Rosie puts her babies to bed. Nope. Not and then she hides her babies. Oh. They're behind there. Yeah. Sophie says that Rosie puts her baby someplace. She hides them away, puts them to bed, and then she goes and eats the grass. And we found them. Okay. They're adorable. How old are these? Are eight, nine days old now? Only nine days, and they're like tripled the size. Okay. So you get a pumping thing, and then. Than her. Wait, what? How's that introducing them? Well, they can see her, but we're doing this. What? I don't even get it. Cause like, that's a video of them pretending to blow up a horse to adult size. Yeah, and we're doing that. What? Yeah. All right, I don't get that at all. <laughs> you said that's how we're introducing. Oh, you, we're gonna make a TikTok of that. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun because because Sylvie's new horse is the same color as one of our horses that we already have. Look, I put water down here for you yesterday. Come here. Look, come here. Come here, piggy. Come here. Well, it actually makes me happy to see the goats eating the grass because it's frustrating for me to see all this thick grass, all this high grass, especially with all the dandelion fluff poked out. Like, look at over there. It's pure dandelion fluff. But there's Rosie over there eating the grass, and then her mama over here eating the grass. And then all the freeloaders over here eating the hay. So in July, July 15th or something, it'll be a one year that we've had goats. And the first year that we had them, we got them to eat like all the grass. So we had all this grass out here and all these weeds out here and we left them out here to eat them. I put hay in their little room that they go into so they could get out of the sun and they could eat that hay. But I didn't like feed them tons and tons of hay. Like right now, I'm giving them probably a bale of hay a day. I don't want to restrict their hay because I want, more importantly to me is that they maintain their weight. So the grass is just kind of like an extra for now. Posey for sure understands that we leave her in here now. She goes to my feet, I step back, she screams anyway. I know, it's because- I she, don't even touch her. She's afraid, to, she doesn't want us to leave her. Unfortunately, one of our chickens has built a nest in here. And I don't like putting my hands, I do not love putting my hands in here. Holy moly. I try and check every day. Clearly there are two, clearly there are two chickens that lay their eggs in here. What's happening with my puppy? Let her down. She Ow. Let her down. She can chill out. Chill yeah, out and then, down. yes. So I increase, I increase Posey's food because even though she looks okay, <laughs> I noticed that she has like more space behind her ears and she's growing. So I want to stay on top of her growth curve. So she looks okay, but I increased her food a little. Come on, Posey. Come on, Posey girl. Come on. <laughs> Come on, sweet baby. She was in bed. I when I cut some grass and then I went in to get her. She had just had her supper, her dinner, and she was in bed for the night. She was all cuddled up under her bed. 
I told her, let's go, you gotta go back outside. Hello, little willow. Sam found a hose buried in there. Hi, Penny, why is the door like that? What have you guys been doing in here this afternoon? And now I stand here calling at your door. Oh, now I stand here calling at your door. Yeah, I'm yours anywhere you want. It's actually so humid outside. It's so humid. But the bugs are so bad, you gotta wear a shirt. All right, let's check the temperature in this room. It is 70 degrees in the barn. 70 degrees in the barn. Yep, you're taller than me. Oh wait, I forgot my wife. Hi, Piggy. I noticed that Piggy's trying to stay around me more because she's afraid I'm gonna leave her. Are you gonna set that up? Yes, because I don't need to the girl's cousin has been coming by and riding Storm, and it's really good because when Sophie's horse comes home, her and her cousin can actually ride horses together. So Sophie's making her up her own caddy so we don't have to use ours, but she's stealing from my caddy. But I have extras. I have extras of everything. Gabby and Sophie have been kind of giving her tips and tricks. She's ridden before, but they're just reminding her, giving her like some refreshers. And Sophia is loving it. It's what she likes to do. Like that's what she wants to do when she grows up. She wants to be a coach. She's gonna apprentice with somebody. She's gonna go to school for that. She's like, that's her dream job. At least it is right now at 14. I can't believe how hot it just got suddenly. Oh, I should cut this grass over here because it's a mess. Anyways, so, oh my gosh, I love it, Sophie. Look at that one. It's not a bird. I'm wild in the So what's, like, how does it work? Close the gate. Watch. Just, Ellie's about to get pecked. <laughs> All of our pets, one of our babies, baby goats got pecked by a chicken today. It was hilarious. Show me what you did here. Um. So show me what she's going to do. Well, we go the other direction. All right, go walk it. Okay. So she has to turn after that cone. Now it's just so she goes around. Ellie's like, oh, I'll do it. So, so over this one. Over this one. And then you make a big turn, but I'm not doing that. And then you go over this one. And then that one. And that one. Oh, so she's like, over this one, over that one, over that one. It's Super cool. cool. And yeah, it's poles and weaving. That's cool. I love it. She, Sophie's the one that comes out and sets everything up. All the guineas ever. Anyway, I love it. Do we have all of our guineas still? No. We have three? Yep. One of our guineas went disappearing. I still hate the chickens in the back here because I don't get to see them. There's a few that sneak in the front, but I don't actually get to see them and that makes me sad. I like to be able to watch them all the time. I like to see like how they're, yeah, how they're doing. Toad. Toad's got his little pool over there. This is another thing I wanted to do on Mother's Day, but I got robbed of. I wanted to get, like, there's some wood and stuff in here. I wanted to just get it out. I'd like to put some straw in here or some, some mulch. The other thing I hate about the chickens being out here is that, one, I can't see them, but the other thing is, is that it's hard to feed them out here. So we don't feed them out here. We feed them in and they have to go in to eat and I find that they don't. Yeah, but they need to eat all day too. So like I put water out here, but it's just hard to fill. There's no water around here at all. So. Get it, Ellie, get it. Yep. She's so happy to not be in with the goats and the horses. All right, we are headed off and Penny is unhappy. It's so weird. Girls are so weird. She literally waits at the gate, throws a little fit, <laughs> Storm left her, but meanwhile she doesn't even like Storm. We are ready. Stormy boy is building muscle, you guys. All right, we are headed into lessons. I'm super excited. It's like the highlight of my life, lessons. It's when we go out, we hang out with our friends, we hang out with Brandon, we, the kids see their friends. It's just a fun night. It's a fun night for everyone. So the hold up on Sophie's horse is that we're just waiting for bedding stuff to get done and that's, that can take a little bit of time. No big deal. Hopefully in a, like within a week she will be here. And what Sophie was telling you guys earlier, she was showing that video, that TikTok of someone um, doing a transition from one horse. Anyway, she was showing that transition and that's what she wants to introduce her new horse to you guys. So keep an uh, eye out. She might do, we might introduce her for the first time in a TikTok. All right, we are here. 
Stormy's building muscle. He's been being ridden a few extra times a week. Three times a week he's been being ridden. And he grows muscle. Horses grow muscle so fast. Watch, I'll show you. Oh, can't see, but you are shiny as heck. Shiny. We are home. Look at how gorgeous it looks. How with the sun setting. Anyway, about our outdoor arena, we're confused, we're conflicted about what we want to do. That's what's taking us so long. We want to put it in here. It's the most logical place. And we don't know how we'll get sand in there though. Like there's no way to get the footing in there. At least that's what Sam is worried about, getting the footing in. So so we're not sure exactly what we're going to do yet. Good boy. Did you give him treats? He's looking at that guinea. So there's a guinea that keeps getting caught in this fence and it can't get out. I made the hugest mistake. I thought that pet that we're getting that's supposed to come home tomorrow, I thought that they meant the May 24th weekend, because it's a big weekend here in Canada, the May 24th, but she meant, they meant the 24th. So it doesn't come till next week. It's unfortunate, I was really excited to, to get it tomorrow, but it doesn't come till next week. We might end up with all of our new pets coming home on the same day <laughs> next week. Seems like everything's coming next week. So next week will be interesting. Oh no. <laughs> Don't go in the trailer. Also, I haven't been posting the girls' lessons lately just because I've been running out of time. I do like a lot of other stuff at the house. It doesn't look like it maybe, but I've been really busy. So I decided I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start posting their lessons differently. I'm gonna start filming them differently and posting them differently. So I think I'm gonna just do like short videos and post parts of their lessons. I know some of you guys might not like that and it's gonna be, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. I'm not really good at short videos, but I'm going to try it and see how it goes. And I'm excited. I'm not good at short videos. I want to get good at short videos. So stay tuned for that. So we had time to play with her girl today. And how was that? Do you love her? I do too. She literally, I know now that I know now that she's the horse that I saw when Sheena was dying. I know it's her, she was standing just a certain way she was standing in the field today. And I looked at her and I could tell it was her, but she's so, you guys are gonna love her. She is so inquisitive and so out there. Like she's so attentive and so alert and so like, let's do something, let's go, let's do it. Like she's just such an outgoing, that's it, she's outgoing. She's such an outgoing personality. Oh man, I tried not to fall in love with her before everything was, you know, we finalized everything obsessed with her don't you know that you're beautiful just the